Hello and welcome to this screencast. Today we will be demonstrating the Tivoli Service Request Manager integration for Rational Team Concert. This integration uses Open Services for Lifecycle Collaboration, or OSLC. OSLC provides an integration paradigm that lets teams work with tools they are familiar with. In this release, the integration focuses on the following features. Next, we will demonstrate our authorization in RTC Service Discovery. The first step is establishing an OAuth token under OAuth Client Configuration. This can be located in the Go To menu under Security. Here we've created an OAuth client called OSLC and already filled out the endpoint URLs for the OAuth process. Clicking the Authorize button will pop up a window to authorize this client. If we were not logged into RTC, we would be prompted first. Since RTC uses OAuth 1.0, the pin can be anything. Finally, saving will request the final access token and store it. Here is the OSLC endpoint for service discovery. Here, we've set both the OAuth client name configured earlier and the OSLC root services URL for RTC. To create a defect, we will first create a problem ticket from an existing service request. Once we've opened the problem ticket, we will navigate to the Related Records tab. Under the External Defect Management section, we will click Create Defect. This will load an RTC defect window and populate it with information from the problem. Once OK is clicked, the window is dismissed. Using the Refresh Defect button will refresh the related RTC defects in the table. In RTC, we can view the created defect under Work Items for the project. Under the Defects Links tab, a related artifact will link back to the originating problem ticket. Accessing the Detail menu for a related defect will display the View Defects dialog. To demonstrate associating an already existing defect, we will open a problem ticket and go to the Related Records tab again.
This time, instead of using the Create Defect button, we will use Associate Defect. This opens an RTC search dialog. Once the proper defect is associated and a refresh is performed, it will appear in the table. I hope you've enjoyed watching this screencast. Goodbye.